What's up guys? Thank you for stopping by. I hope you all are doing well today. I am Yo-Yo Y2K playing Ark Survival Evolved on Ragnarok. So I'm back with another build tutorial and this one is super fast. Like this only took me 20 minutes to build from concept to completion. It turned out looking really cool so I thought I would take a little bit of time and show you guys how to build this. So I was streaming last night. Didn't have a whole lot of time. Was looking for a fast build. Someone suggested a dodo farm. And we ended up making this cute little dodo coop. So I hope you guys enjoy the build. Like I said, it's super quick. And I'm going to use all vanilla structures to build it with you guys right here. I used a few S plus uh, structures when I built it last night. Just to give us this cool little half wall with the railing on top. I like that look. So I went ahead and did that on the stream last night. But together, you and I are going to build one that is completely vanilla. So it doesn't matter what system you're building on, you can build this, whether you're Xbox, PC, PS4, etc. So like I said, we're on Ragnarok 36.6, 49.6. We are in the canyons, have an awesome view of the canyons out that direction. So first thing we're going to do is grab ourselves a door frame. It can be whatever door frame you want. I'm going to use wood again, just like I have these six wooden foundations that I already have laid out. So you can see a 2x3 foundation door frame right in the middle. Let's grab a ramp. Go ahead and stick it down there. Just regular vanilla ramp. Put that in. Grab some of the window frames. Put one there. Put one there. And then one right above the door. Over here again. Actually not yet. Almost jumped the gun. Let's go ahead. Before we put our window frame here, let's do something real quick. And that is to grab a fence foundation. Doesn't matter if it's stone or wood. I'm using stone, but you could use wood or whatever. There are a couple different snap points on foundations. We want the ones on the outside. So we just had it right there. So that outer snap point, do the same on this side. The outer snap point, which is right there. Now if we jump up here and look down, we will get that snap point and just build out again. And then we're going to build across. And I'm just going to build a little square right here. Last night I did a little angle job. I ended up crisscrossing. And if you don't have certain uh, features enabled on your server, you can't crisscross because you'll get a obstructed error. But if we do this, and like that, everything lines up. And you should be able to build this no matter what the system settings are. Now we can come back and this fence foundation can be gotten rid of. It was just there so we could snap these down and get them in line with our foundations. So we can delete this one as well. And we can put in some walls over here. I can put in a wall or I can actually put in railings as well and stack the railings, which would look kind of cool. Let's do that. Let's stack some railings. Oh, uh oh. All right, guys. So now before we put in our walls like this, I'm actually going to grab the fence foundations again and stick one here. And you can just go ahead and stick it on the inside snap point. This is going to allow us to snap a pillar. Let's go ahead and grab some pillars. Uh, regular pillar. Put that in our hot bar. That allows us to get the pillar to snap right there. We can build them up too high like so. Now we can come back with our walls and just put one on each side like so. Okay. Now the next step is to grab the sloped wall like that and like that put that in place do the same thing to this side sloped wall and sloped wall and grab an uh wah, a thatch sloped ceiling <laughs> put that in like so and next we're going to grab some door frames again let me grab those out of our inventory put them in the hot bar a regular door frame drop that down in the hot bar and I want to turn these so that they are facing the outside like this just like so and over here on this side what I'm gonna do is grab one and then use a window for the other one uh, right here window and then build up again and we can go back to a door frame there so let's go ahead we can build a door frame there, we can build a door frame there, and then up top, we're going to grab the slope again. So slope and slope with another slope there and slope there as well. Let's 
it snap. There we go. Now grab the S uh, the thatch. The sloped thatch roof. That's what I'm looking for. Put that in. So now we have door frames over here and door frames over here with a window here. This side, we can just demolish that. Just demolish that. We can demolish this as well. And this one. And then I'm going to leave this side intact. Just so it's like a spot to put the dodos. Um, just like a little separate storage for the dodo. Do I have a door? I do. Right there. Throw a door in right there. And then I think this is the last thing we got to do. Uh, I guess the last thing would be put the fence outside. So let's grab another ramp. Put the ramp so the dodos can get in and out of the little, little pen. And do we have a door on here? We do not have a door on here. Let's put a door on here. So we can come out. This is the front of the dodo coop or the rear, whichever way you want to look at it. Come inside. Dodo area. They can come out here and play around. And then we can go ahead and put some railings around on our fence foundations. You can go one high or you can go two high. It's really up to you. Oops. Like so, guys. So that is pretty much it. <laughs> That's pretty much the Dodo Coop finished. It's really easy to build. Shouldn't take you very long at all. And I guess lastly, what we could do, I don't think I have any regular feeding troughs. We do have an S plus feeding trough. Let's throw this down here just to kind of give it that extra feel. So there's a feeding trough tucked in as well. So this is the Dodo Coop, guys. Hope you enjoyed the build. You could totally put windows in if you want. Like, you put the actual, you know, windows, like wooden windows or whatever, in the window frames. Let me run around here so you can get a better look at it. But I'm just leaving them open because I like the way it looks when it's open. It just kind of makes it look a little more airy. It looks... I guess open. <laughs> That's the word. So hope you guys enjoyed the build. If you did, please don't forget to leave a like down below. It helps me out. Appreciate it a lot. If you guys want to see more videos like this, you can check out some of the links down in the description. You can also check out my channel page. And if you want to see more videos in the future, don't forget to subscribe to the channel as well. So until next time, guys, thank you so much for watching. Have a great day or night wherever you are. And until then, we will see you guys next time. Bye, guys. Oop, uh, wave. <laughs> Bye, guys.